Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Mustang Bronco Basketball here live on MHSBroncosports.tv. And we are live here at Edmund North High School for first round regional action for the Mustang Broncos as they are getting set to take on the Putnam City West Patriots. I'm Ryan Booth, voice of the Broncos and Bronco Basketball brought to you tonight by OU Health ER and Urgent Care. Combining emergency room and urgent care services all under one roof for your family's convenience. For more information or to find a location nearest you, go to OUHealth.com. And this is the Emma L's Italian Kitchen pregame show located at 4401 Grant Boulevard, right off Route 66 in the Kilpatrick Turnpike west of Yukon, where thoughtful ingredients, artisan preparation, and a great price. It's Emma L's. For online ordering or making reservations, you can go to EmmaLs.com. And a little bit of an abbreviated pregame show here tonight as we kind of had to wait for the broadcast crew that was covering the Edmund North Lawton Eisenhower game before us to get done and, and wrap up. They had they'd got here early, early as that game tipped off at six o'clock. And so but we're here with you live now, and you can see both teams out there on the floor warming up. Mustang coming into tonight's game, fifth place in District 6A1 with an overall record of 14-9, and 6-8 and eight in district play. Putnam City West was the fourth place finisher in District 6A, number two, 10-12, and 12, so a sub-500 record overall but a better district record at 8-6. and six. Their last regular season game, they defeated Westmore 49-44. Mustang comes into tonight's game after a big win over Norman North to close out the regular season, 60-46. to 46. And before that, though, the guy's been on a little bit of a downward trend. They had lost four in a row, again, before getting that big win to close out the regular season. So should be a good game here tonight. Two teams that really kind of want to get up and down the floor. Two athletic teams, two teams that can shoot the ball, can put points on the board in a hurry. So Mustang going to have to bring their A game. That's for sure here tonight. And, again, the winner of this game, well, you get the uh, the luxury of, or the the joy, not sure how you want to fill in that blank, of taking on Edmund North here on their home court. The winner of that game will advance directly to areas. So if you you win here tonight, but you, you lose tomorrow night, hey, not all is lost because now with district play, it's a true double elimination all the way through. You know, in prior years, you lost that first game of postseason play and you were done. You had to win that first game to get into that double elimination setting, but not anymore. So hopefully you were with us Tuesday night as you saw the Mustang Lady Broncos with a big win over at UConn. So, and they defeated Lott and Eisenhower on the girls' side, and that sets up a huge matchup tomorrow afternoon, 3.30. Mustang and UConn, the winner of that game, will advance to the area and doesn't have, don't have to play any more here in the regional round. The loser of that game, they are still alive. They've got an opportunity to advance, but they'll have to win another one, kind of that loser's bracket game. But tonight it's the guys' turn, so we'll see what Coach Hodges and the guys have have in the tank. I know they are, they are fired up and ready to go. Again, it's been a little while since they played. So February 13th, so nine days ago, was their, was their last game. And again, it was that big 60 to 46 win down at Norman North. So excited to get this one going. So Mustang will be the visitors tonight. They'll be in their black uniforms with red trim, cursive Mustang in red across the chest. Putnam City West will be the home team. They'll be in their, their home white uniforms with light blue and dark blue trim. So starting lineups being introduced right now, so we'll give those to you as they are announced. So for Mustang, sophomore guard number zero, J.T. Johnson. So the freshman guard, number one, Tyson Pogai. 
Another sophomore at guard, number three, Jaden Johnson. And then at forward, junior number 23, Roman Miller. And rounding out the starting five for Coach Hodges here tonight, forward senior number 34, Cole Clipson. So, again, it'll be J.T. Johnson, Tyson Pogai, Jaden Johnson, Roman Miller, and Cole Clipson. Starting lineups now for Putnam City West. At forward, number 10, Nate Marithi. At guard, number 15, Jordan Warrior. At guard, number 20, Damani Gilstrap. At forward, number 21, J.J. Wilson. And then starting at the center position, listed as a true center, and there you can see him at 6'9", number 24, Caden Rayfield. So again, for Putnam City West, so it'll be Marithi, Warrior, Gilstrap, Wilson, and Rayfield, the starting five for Putnam City West. Again, Putnam City West, 10 and 12 overall, eight and six in their district. Mustang 14 and nine, six and eight in district play. And we are just about ready to, to get this one going. Again, the winner moves on to play Edmund North, that game will be Friday at 7.30. So the loser of this game will take on Lawton Eisenhower, who lost to Edmund North earlier. And that game will be tomorrow at 6 p.m. So obviously you want Mustang to win because, you know, I'm the biggest Mustang homer that you're going to find out there. But, again, it will make my life a little bit easier as the girls, Mustang girls, will be playing at 3 o'clock and getting here, or at, sorry, at 3.30, getting here and set up and ready to go by 6 o'clock. It's going to make it a pretty tight turnaround. So Putnam City North controlled the opening tip right to the basket lane and up and in was Warrior. Clipson is fouled. Nice entry pass down low. Cole goes up strong, but he's fouled. Looks like Wilson got him. So Wilson picks up his first, team's first, and Cole will be at the line. First one by Clipson, a little bit strong. State wrestling going on. We'll give you some, some information on Mustang wrestlers as that, as that is sent over to us. Assistant Athletic Director Greg Oliver is at the state wrestling tournament. So he says Van Smith, ninth grader, won his first match in the 113-pound bracket. So congratulations there. Javen, De Javen Douglas, a first-round winner at 126. Here you see a turnover. Miller quickly with it. Got down deep. Now Johnson has it. He drives. A little floater in the lane. Too strong. Won't go. And Rayfield, that's... All six foot nine of him is going to bring it up, and that's going to be a tough matchup right now for Jaden Johnson as he's matched up out there on Rayfield. So Rayfield's got about seven, eight inches on him. Clipson goes back down low now. Nice little battle between Clipson and Wilson. Wilson just bulls his way in. Cole stays right in front of him. And then in the scramble for the loose ball after the Wilson miss, it's knocked out, so it'll stay here on this end of the floor. So Putnam City West with a lot of size. But, again, you'll see Rayfield bring the ball up. He'll step out and shoot it. So three up and on the way. Won't go. Ball's tipped, knocked out by Putnam City West, so Mustang will inbound. Some other Mustang Bronco wrestling news. Decadence Thoreau, she won her first match at 110 pounds. The only, only uh, Mustang female wrestler left in the bracket. So hoping for some good things coming out of there. And, again, we'll pass along any of that information as we get it. But Pogai steps on the sideline there on the far side, turning it over.
Putnam City West trying to decide who's going to throw it in. Finally, Gilstrap goes down there to take it. Two to one, just about two minutes gone by. And again, big man to big man. As you see, Wilson get it from Rayfield, or Wilson get it to Rayfield. And then another turnover as Clipson was down low, and I believe he stepped on the in line. <clears throat> so you see Putnam City West, they want to get they want to get Wilson there at the high post and then try to let him operate. As again, Johnson's doing all he can to try to deny 6'9 Rayfield from getting in down low. Shot was missed. Miller drives, puts it up. But a travel is going to be called. So three straight turnovers on three possessions for Mustang. Not off to a good start here offensively. Rayfield with it way outside. He looks to drive, and then he just loses the handle on it. So turnover, Putnam City West. Patriots going to pick up with some full court pressure. Pogai with it, right back to Miller. Rises, fires. That one got tipped as he went up with it. And then a travel by Gilstrap. As he got it, I think he got a little bit excited about all the room he had, and then he travels, turns it over. So Mustang will get it. Again, looking for their first field goal. Just about three minutes gone by. The lone point on the board, a free throw by Cole Clipson. Miller has it way up top between the legs, glides in. He's leveled to the floor, no call. Driving down. Again, a lot of contact on this end of the floor, and finally getting it up and in was Rayfield. So 6-1. So Mustang having a little bit of trouble with the size before Johnson takes this one right to the hoop, lays it in. And the official is going to come over and give Mustang a delay of game warning as that one came through. Johnson got the ball, kind of held on to it, and then let it fall to the floor. So Mustang with their first delay of game warning. Quick corner three is going to be short. Yep, bounce around, ball's tipped out. Gilstrap comes up with it. Long three is strong. And again, ball's tipped around. Roman comes up with it finally for Mustang, and he'll quickly move the other way. Looks to go right down the lane, up off the glass and in. Count the basket and one opportunity, so did not hear the whistle, but could, could hear the Mustang crowd applauding in agreement. So Roman can look to tie this one up, and he does that as it was 6-1, so five straight by Mustang. Here's we've almost reached the four-minute mark of the first quarter, and it's 6-6. Six to six. Again, thanks for watching tonight. We appreciate you joining us here live on MHSBroncosports.tv. Well, free throw line jumper won't go again. Tipped around, tipped around. Miller and Pogai were there, and it took both of them to keep J.J. Wilson from getting that rebound. So Tyson will bring it up. He's guarded out there by Warrior. And Warrior just all over and then has some things to say to Pogai after he knocked him to the floor. The officials getting together and now I think they're going to say that Warrior Kind of took a, a swipe at Pogai down on the floor with his foot. So, so I haven't seen the signal for a technical, but I believe it's coming. So, yeah, we're watching the official right here. So the foul. So Warrior was called for the initial foul, and then he picks up a technical 
So fourth team foul on Putnam City West. Two fouls right there on Warrior, and Pogai will go to the line. He'll shoot the technicals, and then Mustang will have the basketball as well. So first lead of the game is Pogai's second one is up and in. And now Mustang, yeah, retains possession. And so this could be a four, maybe even a five-point swing right here for Mustang. Yes. Pogai, no stranger to being kind of the, maybe one of the number one targets, a very high-profile player and well-deserved with his talents both here on the basketball court and the football field. But that's the thing about Tyson. I've seen it a couple times or noticed it a number of times this season and mentioned it a couple of times. Pogai, you wouldn't be able to tell if he hasn't scored a basket or if he's scored 50. And that young man is just so cool, calm, and collected the entire time he's out there. Now, again, he plays with great passion, great heart, great determination, but just does not get emotional about it at all. Just goes out there and plays the game. So Johnson at the free throw line as Putnam City West is over the foul limit here in the quarter. So first one was good, second one up on the way. It's good as well. So Mustang now on a 9-0 run as it was 6-1 to get things started. That was at about the four minute mark. So here in about a minute, Mustang has put nine points on the board. Jumper off the back of the rim won't go. Pogai has it, he's corralled down low. And there again, you can see this time it's Warrior just trying to be a little extra physical. So jump ball was called, it'll be Bronco basketball. J.T. Johnson will inbound. Tyson has it. Double team needs some help, gets it to Cole. Comes to the middle of the floor, right where you want him to be. Low guy outside, thought about it for a second. This one goes off of Rayfield. And in for Putnam City West, didn't notice this substitution. I believe they took Warrior out, yeah. And came, coming in for him was number three, Antonio Green. Jaden Reyes in, long three, a little bit strong. Michael Vincent also in for Mustang. That was Johnson on the three, all alone down low. And then Vincent blocks the shot, but a whistle and a foul. I think they're going to say Roman. Yeah, Roman got him with the body. Vincent made sure that that shot didn't have a chance to go in as he went up and blocked it. The two, Jaden Reyes in here for Mustang. As JT Johnson went to the bench. So Pogai, Reyes, Johnson, Miller, and Michael Vincent. In for Clipson. Just under two and a half left to play here in the first quarter. First game of regionals for the guys. Again, the winner of this one plays tomorrow night, 7.30, against Edmund North. Loser of this game will play tomorrow night at 6 o'clock, right back here at Edmund North against Lawton Eisenhower. So, again, an anytime Mustang picks up the basketball, they – Putnam City West goes and traps, double teams the ball handler. And there it works as Roman fumbled that one. Had it knocked out, tried to get it back, but then lost it out of bounds. Spin into the lane, Coleman. Now the ball comes back outside. Again, Johnson doing a great job sticking with Rayfield. 
just chasing him everywhere he goes, trying to deny him the basketball. So shots up, going right into Reyes was Coleman. Yeah, so Jaden Reyes with the foul. And I believe that's Coleman at the free throw line for West. A couple more substitution. Marithi back in. Second one is good as well. Reyes gets it across half court. Johnson has it. He's bumped on his drive. Dumps down to Vincent. Swatted at. And Rayfield picks it up and he'll bring it up. Long three from the side is up and in for Coleman. So Coleman puts Putnam City West back on top. It's just about a minute and change left here in the first quarter. Reyes swiped at. That three goes halfway down and out. And then unable to save it was West, so it'll stay here. So good look at it by Jaden. And again, just had that one rattle out. So Mustang will keep possession. Roman up top. And again, they're going to try to double team him. Vincent down low, and then a blocking foul is trying to slide underneath Vincent. Was Antonio Green. Green's first. And Vincent will go to the line now as again West over the foul limit. Vincent. Rolls that one in. Wheeler. Wheeler will check in. Vincent, second free throw is on the way. And it rolls off. That three is blocked by Roman. He's trying to put it up again was Coleman. And Miller showing off his athleticism as he just flies in and swats that one away. Roman fade away, won't go. Vincent fighting for the rebound, but Johnson comes up with it. Skip pass over to Pogai. Just inside the three-point line, puts it up off the back of the rim, won't go. That's a case where Rayfield just a little bit too tall. Roman was stretched out as far as he could go to try to get that rebound. Driving a whistle, foul on Vincent. And going to the line will be Marithi. So Mustang's third, count the basket. Marithi at the line for one. 13 seconds left. West on top. 14 to 1. Roman has it. Mustang will try to cut into this lead with the last shot of the quarter. Roman steps through, and they're going to say he walked. Kind of stepped through and tried to get rid of that one. Must have got that foot down before he got rid of the pass. So quickly up off the bench is going to be Rayfield. As West and the official telling Rayfield for about the fifth time here in the first quarter to get his jersey tucked in. He's going to bring it up, rise and fire off the side of the rim, no good. And at the end of one, Mustang trails 14 11. A little bit of a slow start. Mustang got on a run there and then again kind of. Faltered just a little bit down the stretch, but it's only a three-point game as we head to the between quarters timeout. Be back with more Bronco basketball here in just a moment. 
OU Health ER and Urgent Care is now open with two convenient locations in both South Oklahoma City and Yukon. You get the convenience of an urgent care and all the expertise of an ER under one roof, and you only pay for the level of care you need. To learn more, visit www.ouhealth.com slash one roof. In network with most major insurance providers, including Medicare and Medicaid. Okie Print Barn is a proud sponsor of Mustang Athletics. For the best in custom apparel, contact Okie Print Barn today. Okie Print Barn, your hometown screen printer located on Highway 152 in Mustang. Let's go Broncos! Welcome back here to Edmond North. It's Mustang and Putnam City West. First round regional action here for the 2024 postseason. So a long regular season, and we're just now getting things started. So state tournament scheduled for March 6th, 7th, 8th, and 9th. So a long ways to go here in the postseason, but should be an entertaining one. And is defending here in Class 6A, Edmund North boys and girls look to make history to be first team in either to three-peat, and there's a pretty good opportunity for both of those teams to do it. So first shot was missed. Pogai with it down into the lane. Floater up and in. Tyson gets that one to go. He's got four points. So his first field goal of the night. So Mustang back to their original starting lineup here to start the second quarter. Reverse layup up and in. So Coleman, this defender went down. Wilson was able to find him and he laid that one up and in. Johnson with it. He looks to drive, flips it up. Swatting the backboard was Marithi. Shot still falls. And Johnson on the floor as he takes a hard screen from Wilson. The turnover, Roman down now into the corner for three. Got it. JT Johnson. So Miller had a look at it, saw that the shooter Johnson was spotted up in the corner. Miller defers to the young sophomore. And he says, thank you very much as that one falls in. Now an answer three is going to be off the mark. Again, long rebound. And Clipson and Wilson get tied up. And it's going to be on Cole. That should be his, I believe that's his second. Oh, no, first. So first on Cole. So West will inbound. And again, really, it's just kind of the size and then what has been Mustang's Achilles heel all season long, just the physical play of Putnam City West that's really just kept Mustang off balance kind of on both ends of the floor. So, Mustang just extremely athletic, extremely talented, and but at times have, has struggled when teams want to get really, really physical with them. So, Miller blocks that shot from Rayfield and up the field, kind of out of control was Johnson. Clipson had a good look at it. He was smacked into from behind. And then taking an early spring break vacation with that travel not called was Rayfield. But we'll go ahead and take it because as soon as he makes it, what's the first thing he do does? He runs up and gets right in Roman's face. And that's probably because Roman, Roman blocked his shot earlier. And so he went to Roman to tell him, hey, you couldn't block that one. So second technical of the night on Putnam City West. Pogai's first free throw skips off. 
And now Rayfield having words with one of the officials. The official doing his best to try to get him calmed down. As Pogai makes the second one, puts Mustang up now 19-18. And we'll have possession of the basketball. Marithi comes in, Rayfield will go to the bench, have a seat, cool off a little bit. So been a little chippy from the start. And then Roman just going a little bit too fast. Couldn't hit the brakes, drug that pivot foot, and called for the travel. So another opportunity for Mustang kind of wasted right there. And then just a little miscommunication. Just I think they thought, I think he thought Gilstrap, Warrior thought Gilstrap was going to come out and get that one. And Gilstrap tried to sink down low, and that one just thrown straight out. So Tanner Sharon will make his first appearance tonight. Tanner checks in. Gives Jaden Johnson a well deserved break as he has been working overtime trying to keep up with Rayfield for Putnam City West. Sharon has it, launches a three, can't get it to go. Miller flies in, has the ball ripped away by Cole, or by Wilson, and will go the other way. Up top, steps into a three, won't go. And fighting for the rebound and then losing it. Going to say last touch by West. It looked like, looked like they had a pretty good handle on it and then just fell out of bounds with it. So Vincent will check in for Cole. And Jaden will come in for JT. Vincent doing a really good job holding his ground, but able to get that one up and in was Marithi. Vincent did an outstanding job just to plant his feet. Marithi was trying to just shove him right off his spot, but Michael wasn't going to go anywhere. Sharon with it, gets it over to Miller. Roman trying to make a move, and again, they're going to come out and double team him. Now gets down along the baseline, and then a whistle and a foul. Jared Kariuki. Jaden Reyes will check in. Sharon will go, Tanner Sharon will go to the bench. Michael gets it up to Pogai. Shot missed, fight for the rebound. The officials are going to get together. I think we've got one that was going to call out of bounds, but the official that, that did have a better view of it. So calls the foul. It goes against Mustang. I think it would have been Putnam City West ball anyways, but unfortunately it's a foul now on Reyes. Only the second. So a lot less fouls called here in this second quarter, two apiece. Johnson Gamble's trying to steal that one, and there you see Reyes just being the – Still, I've been thinking about it for a long time, and I just, I want to say just an irritation. He just, he just gets out there and irritates the other team because he's so fast, so pesky, <clears throat> and he just, he just gets in there. <clears throat> he's not afraid of how big anybody is, how physical they want to play. He's going to go in there and he's going to go 90 miles an hour, and he's going to do everything he can to disrupt, just like that right there. And then yeah, Vincent kind of walked into him a little bit once he got up into the air, I think is the way the official saw it. But, and, again, I, I love the way Reyes plays. I love the energy that he brings to the floor. I love the intensity that he brings. It's infectious to the rest of his teammates.
So along the baseline, shots missed. And Reyes, there you see just what we were talking about. Reyes flies in, goes up and gets that, and then knows he's going to take some contact. Marithi knocks Reyes to the floor. So Marithi with the size advantage right there, but Jaden doesn't care. And he's going to get it and, again, just go as fast as he can. Gets it to Tyson. Now has it back. Pogai into the lane, stops, pops. It won't drop. Clips it up with it strong, rattles it in. Nice job by Cole to be strong down low. And Mustang back on top now, 21-20, back and forth. Now Roman on Rayfield. Cole comes over to help. Rayfield passes out of it. And knocking down the three on the inside out is Wheeler. So Reyes has it, Coleman on him. Roman into the lane. And then a reach-in foul is gonna be called on Wheeler as Johnson was trying to drive. Mustang ball on the far side. Fourth team foul, so the next one on West will send Mustang to the free throw line here with just a little bit over two to play here in the first half. Miller and Rayfield, Roman drives in and then I think he thought Reyes was gonna stay low. Jaden started to pop out. And so Mustang will turn it over. So again, back to the starting lineup with Johnson, Johnson, Pogai, Miller, and Clipson for Mustang. Again here, two minutes to play in the first half. Johnson on Rayfield, and Rayfield just too tall. Goes one way, comes back the other. And again, Johnson doing everything he can to stay right there with him. Pogai loses the handle on that one. And again, but when West has Wilson and Rayfield out there, there's an interception. Johnson to Johnson, lays it up and in. Nice job. Well, I guess that was Miller. I thought that was, I thought that was JT to Jaden, but it was Roman to Jaden. But like I was saying. When West has both Wilson and Rayfield out there, Cole has to stay with Wilson just because of the size, the, the thickness, the strength. So Coach Hodges has challenged Johnson. So Rayfield now with 10. And again, he was wide open, went up, dunked it. And now you can see he's just grabbing Roman. He's got both hands right there on Roman's waist. That's just You put two hands on him, that should be a foul. Whether he's got the basketball or not. Follows his shot. Fouled. Going back up for the second time will be JT. But it's funny, he's just, he's all alone, Rayfield is. Goes up, dunks it, and then what does he do? Puts the ball on the floor and then immediately runs to Miller and has something to say to him. Roman wasn't even anywhere around. So obviously for some reason, Rayfield not a fan of Roman Miller. So losing it out of bounds as Rayfield and Marithi both right there with it. Neither one of them can get it. So Mustang will get another chance Johnson has it, looks to drive, and then a hand check foul. So nice job by Jaden, again, to just absorb the contact, try to get to the rim. 
and earn himself a trip to the free throw line. Jaden will shoot two to try to cut into this four point lead that West has. So Reyes back in, this time for JT Johnson. Jaden knocks down the second. 16 seconds to play here in the quarter. Mustang down by two. Again, Raiden, or Rayfield, just allowed to travel wherever he wants. Clipson lays it in. Two of the officials look at each other saying they don't know, and then one of them says no basket. So at the end of the first half, Mustang will head to the locker room, trailing 29-25 here to Putnam City West in first round regional action up here at Edmund North. Again, the winner of this one will play Edmund North tomorrow night, 7.30. Loser will take on Lawton Eisenhower right here at 6 o'clock as well. So, again, Mustang was down 6-1 early, went on a nice little run, got on top, and then after that it was just kind of back and forth. Neither team able to really extend too far from the other, and we head to halftime. Again, West on top, 29-25. So we'll take a halftime timeout. Be back with the third quarter and all the rest of the action here from Edmund North. You're watching Bronco Basketball brought to you by OU Health ER and Urgent Care. Our mission here at Oral Surgery Specialists of Oklahoma is to provide exceptional care to our patients in a warm and welcoming environment. We enjoy creating an exceptional experience for our patients with belief in patient education, careful listening, and customized treatment planning. Here at Oral Surgery Specialists of Oklahoma, we uniquely offer a full scope of oral surgery and periodontal services under one roof, including dental implant placement, wisdom teeth removal, gum grafting, and jaw surgery. We love what we do here, and we look forward to the opportunity to be able to care for our patients and provide exceptional oral surgery and periodontal surgery. OU Health ER and Urgent Care is now open with two convenient locations in both South Oklahoma City and Yukon. You get the convenience of an urgent care and all the expertise of an ER under one roof and you only pay for the level of care you need. To learn more, visit www.ouhealth.com slash one roof. In network with most major insurance providers, including Medicare and Medicaid. Joe Cooper Ford has three Ford dealerships around the metro to serve Oklahoma better than anyone else. What does having three of the best Ford dealerships in the state mean for you? It means three times the selection and three times the savings. And that's three times the service. And Joe guarantees to beat any price in Oklahoma by $500 or he'll give you $10,000. That's why Joe beats the competition three to one. Who loves you, Oklahoma? Discover authentic Italian cuisine at Emma L's in West OKC. Featuring freshly prepared Italian favorites. Everything made to order. Dine in or get it to go. Emma L's Italian Kitchen. Kilpatrick Turnpike and 39th Expressway. Let us do the cooking. Hey Bronco fans, this is Larry Andrews with 777 Roofing and Construction. We're proud supporters of the Mustang Broncos. Go Broncos!
OKC, years in the making. The all-new classic Chevrolet Northwest Expressway is finally here. Family owned and operated. Shop new Silverados. A massive 7,500 off MSRP. From the stockyards to Bricktown, Paseo Arts to Midtown. Upgrade to a new Silverado. 7,500 off at the all-new classic Chevrolet Northwest Expressway. This is OKC. This is classic. Relax and enjoy the difference. I understand that buying or selling your home isn't just a transaction, it's a journey. Because your dreams and your investments matter, I'm committed to working for you. With communication and integrity as my main priority, let me show you how I'm different. Liz Howerton Real Estate, making big moves. Football there, football there, football everywhere. What? How is that a flag? He landed on him after the sack. That's roughing the passer. Huh. Okay, what if he hit him high? Roughing the passer. And low? Roughing the passer. Well, what if he couldn't stop his body like a human, so he ends up trampling him, and then he's like, oh, no, and he tries to go back, and he tramples him some more, and he's like, I'm so sorry, I'm a buffalo. I don't know my strength compared to you. Wait, what? Come on, ref! Let the boys play! Ladies and gentlemen, Cowboy Driving Academy welcomes you to another big night for the Mustang Broncos. Cowboy Driving Academy is Oklahoma's largest driving safety school. So when it's time to drive, it's time for Cowboy Driving Academy. Visit CowboyDriving.com and register online for permits and driver safety classes and testing. If you're at least 15 years old, it's time to drive. And no one gets you driving more safely than Cowboy Driving Academy. Oklahoma's largest and most trusted driving school. Most permit applicants can even skip the written DPS test with Cowboy because we work six months ahead of schedule. Visit CowboyDriving.com for details. Discover authentic Italian cuisine at Emma L's in West OKC. Featuring freshly prepared Italian favorites. Everything made to order. Dine in or get it to go. Emma L's Italian Kitchen. Kilpatrick Turnpike and 39th Expressway. Let us do the cooking. Our mission here at Oral Surgery Specialists of Oklahoma is to provide exceptional care to our patients in a warm and welcoming environment. We enjoy creating an exceptional experience for our patients with belief in patient education, careful listening, and customized treatment planning. Here at Oral Surgery Specialists of Oklahoma, we uniquely offer a full scope of oral surgery and periodontal services under one roof, including dental implant placement, wisdom teeth removal, gum grafting, and jaw surgery. We love what we do here and we look forward to the opportunity to be able to care for our patients and provide exceptional oral surgery and periodontal surgery. Hokie Print Barn is a proud sponsor of Mustang Athletics. For the best in custom apparel, contact Okie Print Barn today. Oki Print Barn, your hometown screen printer located on Highway 152 in Mustang. Let's go Broncos! Back with you live here, ladies and gentlemen. So you can see Mustang making their way back out onto the court. You know, Coach Hodges and the guys got together in the locker room, talked about the good, the bad, and the ugly, made the adjustments that they think are going to put Mustang in good position to come back from this 29-25 deficit they face getting ready to head into the second half. But while we've got a second, want to update you on some Mustang wrestlers over at the state tournament and a big one here tonight as at 113 pounds, Van Smith from Mustang with the sudden victory win over the number one seed, Madden Skidmore from right here at Edmund North where we are tonight. So again, sudden victory, it was tied. And then Van Smith gets the takedown, and he moves on into, I believe it's the semifinal rounds. So semifinals will be tomorrow night at 6 o'clock over at the Big House. So 
Lots of Bronco athletics going on. And, hey, don't forget, you want to keep up with everything that is Mustang High School athletics, especially at this busy time of the season. There's where you go, at MHS Bronco Sports on X or Twitter, whichever you want to call it. Hey, make sure and follow that. Every one of our guys does a great job keeping you up to date as well as you can follow me. It's at MHS Broncos Voice. I'd love to hear from you anytime, any day. Hey, send me a message, tag me in a tweet. So, but again, if you'll follow those two accounts, you will not miss a moment of the action here in. So, and again, there you can see, hopefully you haven't missed a moment of the action here tonight. It's been a good one, 29-25. So Miller, three points, three ro- re- rebounds. I was getting ready to say Pogai, Pogai. Five points, three rebounds. Jaden Johnson, though, the leading scorer, 10 points, one rebound. And, again, JT and Jaden have their hands full on the defensive end as they are trying to keep track of Rayfield for Putnam City West, who I believe Rayfield's into double digits. Yeah, he's got 12 points there you can see on the screen. So, again, had their hands full but only down four and, you know, it's safe to say Mustang has not played their best basketball. They've had some some untimely, untimely turnovers. So, and, and uh, it's just, again, I, I hate to just continue to just hammer and hammer at this point, but when teams really, really get physical with Mustang, that's been the one hurdle that they've just had a hard time getting over during the season. So, we'll see. Nice little give-and-go action right there, laying it up and in is Johnson. Jaden gets that one to go. So great play design off the inbound play to start the second half. But so real quickly, oh, that one's tipped away by Clipson. Stay here. Johnson to Johnson, right to the rim, back to Clipson, up off the glass, won't go. And then the rebound finds its way into the hands of Putnam City West. And then off to the races and laying that one up and in is Warrior. But Dagan Reyes from Mustang over at the state wrestling tournament pinned his first opponent at 157 pounds. And then we're waiting to hear about our final wrestler of the night at 215, Sam Pritz. Shot was missed. Miller tracked down the rebound. Johnson for three, just a little bit strong. And the rebound taken by Marithi. So, again, a number of Mustang wrestlers into the semifinal rounds, which will be tomorrow night, 6 o'clock, over at the Jim Norick State Fair Arena, affectionately known as the Big House. So Miller has it, scoop shot. Again, just absolutely leveled as he goes up, no call. And again, a now it's more like a track meet has broken out. So as a hold is going to be called on Clipson. Cole reaches in, tries to tie up Wilson. So Mustang's first here in the hat and the quarter. Cole's second. So West will inbound, but a lot of action, but not much really happening. Clipson blocks that inbound shot and then a very late whistle. The shot had already been blocked. It had been rebounded. And then the whistle came. That's one of those NBA ones. I feel like NBA officials wait to see if the shot goes in. If it goes in, they don't call a foul. If they miss it, then they say, oh, well, it must have been a foul, so we'll blow the whistle. So Rayfield, the beneficiary of that call, goes to the free throw line, gets the first. So two clips in there with two quick fouls, and he's got three, so he'll have to spend a little bit of time on the bench. And Michael Vincent will check back in for him. So second free throw, no good. There again, you see Rayfield. He's decided he wants to guard Miller. And then Miller had a great screen and then just lost it as he went up. And Roman's going to pick up the foul, just trying to stay in front of Rayfield and not let him get an easy basket. So Mustang's third foul already here in the quarter and not quite two minutes gone by. So Mustang in in jeopardy of giving Putnam City West extended time 
to go to the free throw lines if they continue to foul the way they have been to get this, this quarter started. First one by Rayfield was strong. Second one rolls around and in. Rayfield tangled up with Pogai, but everybody seems to be okay. Tyson with it. Now over to JT. He'll look to drive. Dumps it down, and then on the drive, a hand check foul is going to be called on Coleman. So it was a good find by Johnson. Vincent had been able to kind of work his way into some open space along the baseline. Was going to have a good look at it. That one pass is intercepted. A nice, very nice transition basketball right there. Give and go and then give it right back between, between Coleman and I believe, yeah, Coleman and Warrior. So, and a timeout is taken. Coach Hodges wants a full timeout. This is a Jay Willis auto body timeout. We'll step aside as well and be back right after this. I'm sure you've heard two is better than one. Well, when it comes to the best new Ram truck deals in Oklahoma, Joe Cooper guarantees it. Get twice the selection, twice the savings, twice the service. We guarantee to beat any deal in a new Ram truck by $500, or we'll give you $10,000. That's why Joe beats the competition two to one. Who loves you, Oklahoma? Joe Cooper Ram and Shawnee and Yukon. Hey Bronco fans, this is Larry Andrews with 777 Roofing and Construction. We're proud supporters of the Mustang Broncos. Go Broncos! Jay Willis Auto Body, the official sponsor of all Mustang Bronco timeouts. They're a full service body shop specializing in collision, custom paint, and paintless knit repair. They offer free estimates, they'll work with your insurance, and hey, they can even help with your deductible. Give them a call, 405-261-6655, or visit jwillisautobody.com. So Mustangle inbound, Johnson corner three, just off the front of the rim, no good. Ball caroms right into the hands of Rayfield, and then he drives right down the lane. Nobody gets in front of him, he lays it up and in. So I think he's got 16 now on the night. Johnson again down in the corner three. This one off the mark again. Rayfield collects another rebound. And he'll look to go to work. Roman rises and he races that one. And he's going to go right at him. Kind of stumbles. Loses his balance and can't get it to go. So a number of guys tonight on both ends of the floor slipping and sliding. And then just the little head and shoulder fake by Wilson. Gets the defender out of position, puts it up and in, and the foul is called on Roman. That's Roman's third. So it has not been a good start to the Together We Church third quarter here for Mustang. Together We Church, formerly Trinity Baptist Church, the official sponsor of all Bronco third quarters. Together We Church is still reaching, discipling, sending. Together We are Broncos. Johnson down to Pogai in the corner, right back to Johnson. Now Johnson's wing three, got it. JT Johnson gets that one to go. It's only the second field goal for Mustang, so they've only got five points. So it was a 29-24 game, or 29-25 game. So Mustang's been outscored 10-5 here in the quarter. And then Vincent now has picked up his third, team's fifth. So for the final four minutes and change, Putnam City West will go to the free throw line every time the whistle blows against Mustang. So Vincent will check out, and Clipson with his three fouls will come back in. So again, just the size and the physical play of Putnam City West has really kind of had Mustang on their heels. 
a lot of the night here tonight. Mustang just been a not been able to get out and run like they really want to. Second one is good. So make it 18 points now for Rayfield. So four of six from the charity stripe. Johnson with it. Clips in there at the circle. Poe guy comes and gets it back. And two guys right there in the same place, Johnson and Johnson. Drive in, Poe guy up top. Jaden had it, but I think he just a little bit too much traffic. Nice dump down, whistle and a foul. And that foul is gonna go on Jordan Warrior. And Warrior will go to the bench and quickly, that'll bring Wheeler back in. So Warrior picked up the first technical of the night for Putnam City West early in the first as he had knocked Pogai to the floor and then just kind of swiped at him with his foot. Miller down low. Again, just too many tall trees down there for Roman to really be able to do anything, so he kicks it out. Tyson will drive, and then a hand check foul is going to be called. It's just a case. Where you, I don't know how clear you guys can see it, but... Fowler on Wilson, and Wilson just looks completely confused by the call. And it's just, I mean, he just, two hands, just bumps bumps him off his spot. We talked about it. Put one on him, they're probably going to let you give him that. But when you try to change direction, and then Roman smacked in the face as he tries to go up, and very demonstrative with his disagreement is Coleman. And they're going to say it was on the floor, on the drive for Roman. So fourth team foul. So the next one there against West. Mustang will get some chances from the free throw line. Roman drives baseline, reverse layup high off the glass and in. And again, knocked to the floor. And no call. Roman's first field goal since the first quarter, they tell me. So... A long time. Tyson drives great body control to just change directions in midair and glide right by the defender. I believe that was Wheeler that had tried to set up in the lane and take that charge. And somehow Tyson basically just levitates and teleports right around him and gets to the rim and lays it in. And again, that's got to be a travel or an offensive foul. So they're going to go with the travel on Marithi. And a timeout is going to be taken by Putnam City West. Looks like it's a 30-second timeout. It's another Jay Willis Auto Body timeout. We'll take it with them. OU Health ER and Urgent Care is now open with two convenient locations in both South Oklahoma City and Yukon. You get the convenience of an urgent care and all the expertise of an ER under one roof. And you only pay for the level of care you need. To learn more, visit www.ouhealth.com slash one roof. In network with most major insurance providers, including Medicare and Medicaid. Once again, Jay Willis Auto Body, the official sponsor of all Bronco timeouts. So that 30-second timeout was taken by Putnam City West, and in less time than it takes for a timeout, the team of experts over at J. Willis Auto Body can get you back on the road. So again, Mustang trying to do what they can to claw their way back into this one, but it's now a seven-point deficit. It was four at halftime, 29-25. So Roman with it up top. Now he looks to drive. Slides in, whistle, and a foul. So Roman tried to slide past 
Rayfield, and then getting him, getting him was Coleman. So Coleman picks up his third. It was a shooting foul, so it goes in as the fifth foul. So now Mustang will get to the free throw line. Mustang's done a good job since they picked up that fifth foul not to send Putnam City West to the free throw line because, again, it was, I believe, right around the five-minute mark, maybe even a little bit more time on the clock when Mustang had picked up their fifth foul here in the quarter. So second free throw is good as well. So Roman with seven points now, and Mustang trails by five. Johnson tries to get that one. Rayfield spins into the lane off the glass, won't go. Again, a late whistle, and Rayfield will go to the free throw line and shoot two. And it looks like they're going to get Reyes. Oh, no. Oh, wait, first he said two, and then he changed. He put up the number three. Public address announcer said Reyes, so we'll go with that until we hear different. Yeah, and it looks like he's telling the, the scorers that, yeah, it was on three. So, actually, that, that foul was on Jaden Johnson, his first, so... That's, you know, takes Reyes down to two. Clipson up top. Reyes looks to drive, but he's cut off. Roman has it. Rayfield fights through the Reyes screen. Again, Roman, no room to operate, and then just a little bit too high for Reyes. Jaden had some room to go. He could have got in a couple dribbles and gotten himself right up next to the rim maybe, but... Reyes will check back out and JT Johnson in. So again, starting five for Mustang. Johnson, Johnson, Pogai, Miller, Clipson. Clipson out there with three fouls. It's just a little over a minute to play here in the third. And it's a six point lead. Nice job by Pogai and then, oh, just ran out of real estate along the baseline. But you could see him. He knew, he knew what was happening. That just shows you a young man has logged a lot of minutes on the basketball court. He just sat there and patiently waited and waited and was able to pick that one off. But and just toe on the end line. And then on the drive, it's going to be a foul. That's on Cole. He picks up his fourth, and Michael Vincent is going to be, yep, Vincent up off the bench right there at the scorer's table. Mariuthi barely hits anything on that one, just grazes the side of the rim. So Cole, check out. Vincent will check back in. He's got, well, I guess he just has two. I thought he had three fouls. So lane violation on West, so he raced the shot. And Mustang will inbound with just under a minute to play here in, again, the Together We Church third quarter. And then a whistle and a foul, and the official is going to bring Rayfield to the sideline. Because, again, it's his jersey. It, the official has told him over and over. And I think. I mean, but you look, and I, I understand Coach from Putnam City West, he's pointing, he's going, well, hey, my guy Green, he's got his jersey out. You're not stopping the game for him. You're not. Pogai for three, won't go. And Johnson is undercut and goes down hard on that hip. Don't put a band on your jersey. Make it the same color. 
And then, so no foul. It was ball was just knocked out. Last touch by West. Pogai tries to get that one to go. Vincent, big rebound. Nice little up and under, lays it in, does Michael Vincent. So Vincent stays strong, gets his first field goal of the night. And then Rayfield goes down. He's flat on his back, and he looks to be hurt. Johnson fakes it, drives, can't get it to go. Rebounds tipped around, and now all of a sudden Rayfield is magically better as he puts that one up and in. He went down hard and just stayed on that end of the floor. They used to call that cherry picking, and he gets it. So nine in the quarter for him, and the lead is six for Putnam City West as we get ready, get ready to head to the final eight minutes of this one. Take a timeout and be back with more Bronco basketball in just a moment. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we start the Oklahoma News Channel 4 fourth quarter. Oklahoma News 4, the official sponsor of all Mustang Bronco fourth quarters. News Channel 4 is Oklahoma's source for all breaking news, streaming live video, traffic, sports, and severe weather coverage. KFOR is looking out for you. So West will inbound the basketball. That means the possession arrow will be in favor of Mustang on the first tie ball if that comes into. And then a foul on Johnson. That one's going to be on Jaden Johnson as he was trying to do his best to deny Rayfield the basketball and then just kind of him, bodied him towards the out-of-bounds line. Nobody gets out on the inbounder. Or on the inbound pass, it went right to Wheeler. He had a good look at it. And then Miller skies for that rebound, and his outlet pass is knocked away. He's trying to make the long pass up the floor to Johnson. JT was wide open, but long, rangy arms of, I believe that was Kariuki, knocked it out. Vincent, nice little cut down low, lays it up and in, whistle and a foul. So count the basket and one. And that foul's on J.J. Wilson. Oh, nope, correction. That's on 12, Kariuki. So three-point opportunity for Vincent. Nobody blocks him out, got his own rebound, but right there to block it. As he tried to put it back up was Rayfield. So again, chance for Mustang, but just not able to cash that one in. Nice job up top on the defensive switch by Mustang. As Rayfield just tries to shrug off Johnson, tries to just shove him past him as he goes by, tries to olay him, but Johnson able to stay right there with him. Johnson down low, trying to stand his ground. Three ball out, won't go. And just a crazy rebound. That, that's one of those at Rayfield, I think, was just as surprised as anybody out there that that one fell into his lap. Took a funny bounce off the side of the rim. Kariuki with it, he drives. And is able to flip that one up and in. It's back to a six-point game, 46-40, with just a little over six to play. 
Miller rises and fires the three, won't go, rebound tipped away. Three on two break, and nobody able to stop the ball, and Green lays it in, and Coach Hodges wants another Jay Willis auto body timeout as it's now an eight-point lead. So it's a quick 30-second timeout. We'll take one more quick break here live from Edmund North. OKC, years in the making. The all-new classic Chevrolet Northwest Expressway is finally here. Family owned and operated. Shop new Silverados. A massive 7,500 off MSRP. From the stockyards to Bricktown, Paseo Arts to Midtown. Upgrade to a new Silverado. 7,500 off at the all-new classic Chevrolet Northwest Expressway. This is OKC. This is classic. Relax and enjoy the difference. Again, Bronco Basketball would like to thank OU Health, ER, and Urgent Care for being our title sponsor here tonight. Emergency room and urgent care services all under one roof for your convenience. To find the location nearest you, visit OUHealth.com. Pogai will bring it up with Mustang trailing by eight, just under six to play in the game. Again, you drop this one. And you'll play tomorrow night, 6 o'clock, against Lawton Eisenhower. Johnson spins into the lane. Nice, strong basket by Jaden Johnson. The winner of this one gets the pleasure of taking on the two-time defending state champion Edmund North Huskies here on their home court. And that one thrown right to Johnson. Goes to the rim, lays it up and in. Four quick points for Mustang. Jaden and then brother JT in on the action. So it's 48-44, and Putnam City West wants a Jay Willis auto body timeout, and I believe it's going to be of the full variety. So we'll take a little bit longer break here, but again, Mustang 4-0 run here in the last, oh, 10 seconds. We'll be back with more Bronco basketball after this timeout. Football there, football there, football everywhere. What? How is that a flag? He landed on him after the sack. It's rough in the passer. Huh. Okay, what if he hit him high? Rough in the passer. And low? Rough in the passer. Well, what if he couldn't stop his body like a human, so he ends up trampling him, and then he's like, oh, no, and he tries to go back, and he tramples him some more, and he's like, I'm so sorry, I'm a buffalo. I don't know my strength compared to you. Wait, what? Come on, rap. Let the boys play. I understand that buying or selling your home isn't just a transaction. It's a journey. Because your dreams and your investments matter, I'm committed to working for you. With communication and integrity as my main priority, let me show you how I'm different. Liz Howerton Real Estate, making big moves. Jay Willis Auto Body timeout is over, but located in Mustang and North OKC, a full service auto body shop. And like we said, in less time than it takes for a timeout, a team of experts at Jay Willis Auto Body can get you and your vehicle back on the road. Quick little burst right there, Johnson and Johnson, a basket apiece, and talking about it with the guys up here with me during the break, just as, as poorly as Mustang has played at times here tonight, you look up, they're only down by four. So, again, it's, you know, it's one of those deals where you just get a couple breaks, maybe, again, just force some, some, some turnovers, and you could find yourself, I'd say, right back in it. But you're, you're in it right now, only down four. And there's one of those turnovers. Again, West wanting to play really spread out and then kind of just tried to compact everything right down low and a travel call. So Mustang, again, can extend this 4-0 run with a basket here. Johnson with it. Vincent trying to get through the lane, but... Wilson just reaches out and grabs him. Roman right to the rim, can't get it to fall, but he's fouled from behind. And I believe that's going to be four now. Oh, no, they're going to they're gonna call that on Rayfield, his second. So one of those was a technical earlier when he felt the need to uh, 
Oh, have a conversation with Roman Miller after he'd made a basket. Where I believe it was the previous play or maybe a couple before that, Roman had blocked his shot. He wanted to remind Roman that he didn't block that one. So good free throw shooter. Rayfield up to, I believe, 21 points now. And Pogai gets in the way of that one, tips it. Miller out to Johnson for three. That one well off the mark. Uh, offensive foul as Pogai hustled his hiney back there to get set up in position. And Rayfield not real pleased with that one. I don't think anybody in the Patriot blue and gold is. So Marithi and Green will check back in. So that's three now on Rayfield. So with just about four minutes to play in the game, but again, Mustang cannot afford empty possessions here down the stretch as they're down by three. Pogai looks to drive, spins into the lane, flips it up, and it goes. Great English on that one as it looked like that didn't have a chance, and it hit the glass and then just spun right off into the rim, and it's a one-point game. So we'll see how Putnam City West now handles the pressure and then Roman trying to reach around from behind, maybe maybe just uh, got a little bit too into that one right there. An update from the big house. Mustang Wrestling, Sam Pritz just pinned his first play, or fir- pinned his man in the first period. So Sam Pritz will move on and wrestle tomorrow. So a nice day for some Bronco wrestlers. Roman tries to go up strong, and he's fouled. Let's see. That's Rayfield's fourth. So two quick ones here on Rayfield. So, and that would, I don't know if even the playing field is the right term, but, man, if Mustang could could only have to worry about one of those big guys as Rayfield's the only one on the floor right now, it looks like West maybe is going to go small ball as Kariuki up off the bench. wonder if he's – oh, no. thought maybe he was going to come in for Rayfield because, again, with Rayfield and and Wilson out there, that's been a, a tough combo for Mustang to match up with size-wise. So Miller gets that one to go. So it's a one-point game. So again, Putnam City West, they're going to try to burn some clock and then really just look for something easy. And that one's tipped away. Mustang can take the lead here. Roman drives in, flips it up, in it goes. And Mustang on top, 51-50. Long pass up the floor, trying to get it to Rayfield. He would have had an easy one if Vincent had not hustled himself back and knocked that one away and forced West to have to play offense. And now West wants another Jay Willis auto body timeout. It's another full, so we'll step aside for 60 seconds. Back with more Bronco basketball in just a moment. Discover authentic Italian cuisine at Emma L's in West OKC. Featuring freshly prepared Italian favorites. Everything made to order. Dine in or get it to go. Emma L's Italian Kitchen. Kilpatrick Turnpike and 39th Expressway. Let us do the cooking. OU Health ER and Urgent Care is now open with two convenient locations in both South Oklahoma City and Yukon. You get the convenience of an urgent care and all the expertise of an ER under one roof, and you only pay for the level of care you need. To learn more, visit www.ouhealth.com slash one roof. In network with most major insurance providers, including Medicare and Medicaid. Bronco basketball and Bronco athletics would once again like to thank Jay Willis Auto Body for being the official sponsor of all Bronco timeouts. So, and again, at the conclusion of this one, stick around for the Southwest Cleaning Services postgame show. We'll have a quick little wrap-up 
of this one and then look ahead at what's next on the schedule. We know for Coach Bass and the girls, it's a 3.30 game tomorrow against UConn at their place. So it should be a big-time matchup. The winner of that one punches their ticket to the area round. The loser drops into that loser's bracket and has to play one more to try to get into area. And they go into that area with that with that one loss. So, again, if you can win your first two, that really puts you at an advantage. Again, West going to be content to just swing it around and pass it out and pass it out until something easy opens up inside. Kick it back out. Three-pointer missed re or rebound tipped away. Rayfield has it, and he's going to pick it up and then finally gets it over to Wilson, and we hit two minutes to play in the game. And again, Mustang with only two fouls, so they've got some fouls to give if they want to try to maybe jump a pass or get a deflection, get a turnover. Because again, West's going to be content to just pass the ball around as we're now down to a minute and a half, basically, to play in this one. And Mustang on top, 51-50. That one poked away, whistle. And a foul on Vincent. Michael Vincent picks up his fourth foul, so... 51-50, a pretty good Van Halen album from back in the day. And that's our score. Inbound pass tipped away. Mustang has it. And West with four fouls. They do not want to foul because the next one on them is going to send Mustang to the free throw line. Another dangerous pass right there. But he had picked his dribble up way away from the basket. Miller drives down, finds Vincent all alone, but... That door closes quickly, and Michael able to keep it. And now Pogai hounded up top. And Tyson slips, loses it, but Vincent comes away with it. And Coach Hodges is quickly going to call a timeout as, as things were getting out of hand in a hurry. So we'll go ahead and stay here. Again, it's a Jay Willis auto body timeout. I believe it's just a 30-second timeout, but again, That'll give us a chance to, once again, remind you, tomorrow, 3.30, Mustang and Yukon on the girls' side. The winner moves on to area, and we will have that for you live here on MHSBroncosports.tv. We'll, on, we'll be online with you, oh, about 3.20 or so. They kind of limit us a little bit, but about 10 minutes or so before tip-off, we'll be back over at the gym there in Yukon and Depending on what happens here, we'll either have a 6 o'clock game or a 7.30 game with the Mustang Broncos. And if it's that 6 o'clock game, well, that means Mustang lost this one. If it's 7.30, they win and they'll play Edmund North. If it's the 6 o'clock, they'll be matched up against Lott and Eisenhower. For my own sake, I would much rather it be the 7.30 game, and I'm sure the rest of the Bronco fans out there with me want it to be that too because I think – Getting from Yukon to Edmund North at that time of the day, getting all the equipment, all the equipment set up or torn down and then loaded up and then set up and gonna be a rush. So hey, boys, if you can hear me, why don't you just go ahead and win this one and make my life a little bit easier? Vincent gets the inbound pass. Now Pogai has it in his hands. So we're down to 43 seconds. Pogai gets rid of it before a five-second call. He did a good job going in and out a little bit. But Miller has it way up there in the corner. They're going to come trap him. Johnson with it. And again, West doesn't want to foul really because now Pogai will be going to the free throw line. And Pogai, a very good free throw shooter. You've seen Coach Hodges send him to the line tonight for the technicals. So everybody will back off. Again, Tyson makes both of these. It's still just a one-possession game. Both teams with two timeouts left. 
So a couple substitutions. Coleman and Wilson back in. So that big lineup, you could say, for West on the floor. Tyson calmly knocks down a pair. And uh, Coach Hodges wants a 30-second timeout to drop some stuff on defense. So we'll take a timeout, let everybody get a chance to catch their breath as we've got just a little over 20 seconds left in what has turned into a thriller here at Edmond North. News Channel 4 is the official sponsor of all fourth quarters for Bronco basketball. And this has been, oh, maybe, I don't know, I guess you could say breaking news. So this one is one of those that, yeah, we're going to break in and interrupt coverage because it has been an outstanding fourth quarter. Mustang has come back, driving right down the lane, missing the shot. Vincent with the rebound, gets it to Johnson. And then <laughs> Coach Hodges wants a timeout with 12 seconds is, again, I felt like we were in a pretty good spot, but he knows his team way better than I do. And, hey, you've got one left. You might as well go ahead and use it to get your guys calmed down and get something drawn up. You know that West is going to foul. That's the only option that they've got. I mean, they're going to go for the steal, obviously. But so we want to make sure that we get the ball, first get the ball in and then get it where you want it. Pogai's been really good from the free throw line tonight. So has Miller. Miller, six of six from the free throw line. Pogai, five of six. Jaden Johnson, four of four. So, again, Mustang done a pretty good job at the free throw line. But, yeah, you'd feel pretty comfortable with, with Jaden, Tyson, or Roman with the ball in their hands here the final 12 seconds is probably somebody's going to be making a trip to the free throw line. The only thing for Mustang is they'll be inbounding the basketball all the way down at the far end of the court as they hadn't advanced it up enough to get the timeout there on the or to get it up to the sideline. So and Johnson's got to stay set. So Roman gets it. And quickly a reach around foul on Coleman. So Roman will go to the free throw line. Coleman's first. Johnson with a encouraging. High five, or well, really more of a low five, and that one rolls off the rim. So Roman needs to make this one to pretty much kind of let the Mustang fans exhale that big breath that they just took in for that one because that makes it a four-point game, and unless there's just some sort of miracle, that Roman calmly knocks that one down. Cole's going to check in. Vincent will go to the bench. Mustang, no timeouts. Putnam City West with two. And then Johnson, you like that? Okay, because, again, that's only the third team foul now on Mustang, and you're going to force Putnam City West to have to inbound. You do, as Rayfield, you know, was moving towards the basket, so now, again, you're going to force them to – have to burn some clock. Rayfield gets it, puts up a three from straight away. It's an air ball. Clipson, the official says that Clipson got a hand on that. I think Cole originally just wanted it to go out of bounds because it would have been Bronco basketball, but point nine. Roman got a hand on that one, and Mustang with a big time gritty comeback win here tonight over Putnam City West. So 54-50 winners. 
So again, 54-50 winners over Putnam City West, and they will move on and play Edmond North tomorrow night at 7.30. So this now is officially the Southwest Cleaning Services postgame show. We'll kind of try to give you some stats as we go. But again, leading scorer overall here tonight is Rayfield from Putnam City West. So he finished the night with 21 points. Here's the big thing. In the fourth quarter, Mustang holds PC West to six points, and Rayfield goes scoreless. Mustang does an outstanding job defensively, won't say shutting him down, but slowing him down there in that fourth quarter, giving them an opportunity to get back in it and then, again, come away with the big four-point win. So I'll kind of... If you don't mind, I'll do a little adding in my head. But Pogai finishes with 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 points, 4 rebounds, and 2 steals for Tyson. Roman, 2, 4, 6. Only 3 field goals, but he had 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So free throws. So Roman finishes with 13 points, 5 rebounds. And then Jaden Johnson, a nice night from the floor. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 12, 14 points, so on four of four free throws shooting and then 10 from the floor. So you can see there those final stats that we were just going over with you. Again, Roman 13 and 5, Tyson 11, 4 and 2, two steals. Jaden Johnson 14 big points and two rebounds. And, you know, maybe something that you can say is a positive for Mustang is – they didn't rely on the three-point shot here tonight. Didn't get a lot of them. As I look through the book, JT had two, one in the second, one in the third. And as I just kind of scan down, that was it. So, you know, at times Mustang has relied on that three-point shot, and they can shoot it. They can knock it down with the best of them and put a lot of points on the board in a hurry. But, again, tonight a real grinder of a game. Mustang got down early, battled back, took a lead, and then it was that back-and-forth action, down four at halftime, and then they rally back to win by four, 54-50 here tonight over Putnam City West first-round regional action. So this is the Southwest Cleaning Services postgame show. You can contact the outstanding people over at Southwest Cleaning Services at 405-314-1977 or online at southwestcleaningservices.net to see just how they can help you and your business with all your janitorial and commercial cleaning needs. So, again, hey, good night for Mustang. 54-50 winners. Both the guys and the girls move on in the winner's bracket, and both teams one game away from punching their tickets to area. So it'll be 3.30 and 7.30 tomorrow. It'll be Mustang and Yukon on the girls' side from the Miller's Place. Tomorrow, 3.30, we'll have that one for you live, and then we'll get packed up, loaded up, and head up the turnpike just as quick as we can and have the have this one, the 7.30 matchup between Mustang and Edmund North, the two-time defending state champion, Edmund North Huskies, that game at 7.30. Now, should Mustang guys or girls lose those games? Hey, all is not lost. So for the guys... If they lose, let's see, that would be game 17, they would then drop down and they would actually have to travel down to Lawton on Saturday to continue to try to play their way back in to area. So, again, if the guys lose tomorrow, then they will play down in Lawton. That game time still yet to be decided. It depends on how many games are going on down there so again they've got a tough one tomorrow with Putnam City North but if they win hey they're they're into areas and then over on the girls side let me grab our girls bracket real quick because I want to make sure I give you all the right information yeah you win and you're into area if not if you lose that game then the girls will be playing here at Edmond North against a opponent to be determined and that's where things kind of start to get a little tricky in terms of coverage because if for some reason 
We find both of them in that loss column. Well, the girls would play at either 6 or 6.30. The boys would play at either 6.30 or 7.30. One of them here in Edmond North, the girls, and then the guys down in Lawton. So we'll have to do some figuring out to see how we can cover two games from one place at the same time. So production guys are good. I'm not sure if they're that good. So, But we will just have to wait and see. But, again, hey, why make it difficult? Just go ahead and win both games tomorrow. Get a day off. Don't have to worry about playing on Saturday, and you've got your tickets punched to area. So it was a good night here at Edmond North, and we look forward to being with you again tomorrow afternoon, 3.30, Mustang and Yukon for the girls. And then tomorrow night, 7.30, Mustang and Edmond North for the boys. So from all of us here at MHSBroncosports.tv, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Hope you've enjoyed your coverage. And we look forward to seeing you once again tomorrow night. So have, like we always say, have a blessed rest of your today, a great tomorrow. I've just got it all messed up. How about, how about we start over? Have a blessed rest of your night. A great tomorrow. I don't know. I've it's it's been a long day. Taught all day, had parent teacher conferences, and now we've got basketball here tonight. But again, Mustang wins. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, go Broncos.